Well, good morning again, folks. My name is Victor White. I'm the director of airports for the city of Wichita Airport Authority. And on behalf of the city and its airport authority, I'd like to welcome you all and thank you for coming out on this gorgeous morning today. It's a little brisk, but that may make us talk a little faster and a little shorter to get you out of here. We welcome you here for this groundbreaking for your new parking garage and rental car facilities. I'd like to uh, recognize members of the Wichita City Council who have joined us today and other dignitaries and thank you all for coming out. After I give a few brief comments, uh, we'll hear from Wichita Mayor Carl Brewer and Dr. Tom Rosenberg who is the chairman of the Wichita Airport Advisory Board. Today we're here to mark another major turning point in our Act 3, the Air Capital Terminal 3 project for Midcontinent Airport. As you can see across the street, Six months worth of work is really taking shape out there and it's looking fantastic already and this project that we're adding on this side of the street is just another addition to the overall project. <clears throat> we're building a new parking garage, we're building new surface parking around the garage and a rental car facility and customer service center for all the rental car agencies here in town. This is truly an exciting event here at Midcontinent Airport. We're glad that y'all are here with us today to celebrate the the project is about a $40 million overall project to build the facilities. It will help provide new facilities for local customers as well as our out-of-town guests. We're increasing overall parking spaces in the entire airport as part of this project while we're making it safer, easier, and more convenient for our customers. And we're doing all of this at strictly using airport revenues. There are no taxpayer dollars involved in this project. Let me say that again, there are no taxpayer dollars involved in this project. And we consider that a win-win for the community, for the region, and for the entire state of Kansas. And with that, I'd like to turn over the mic to our Mayor, Carl Brewer. Well, first let me say thank you, Victor, and uh, you know, I want to acknowledge, you know, the individuals with the airport team and also the design and the construction teams that have been working diligently to make sure that, um, that one, we stay on schedule and, and the product that we're getting is one of the finest qualities that you can possibly get. You know, these people have been working hard to bring new and new state of the art facility to our airport. In the past, I have referred to the airport as the gateway, not just to Wichita, but to our region and to our state. With the groundbreaking on the new parking garage and the rental car center, we continue the good news and good first and last impressions that we give visitors as they come into our community from all over the world. Ultimately, we also will be improving the experience for those who call Wichita home and who use our airport to travel for business for the leisure travel and other personal trips. We're adding almost 40% more parking spaces and we're planning a project that meets the needs of travelers for the next 20 years. There will be 1,600 spaces in just the parking garage alone with 1,200 for public and 400 for rental cars. But this new parking project doesn't just add new spaces and new features. It reflects the progress and sophistication of our community. The project will include such features as space for rental cars and customer service counters on the first level, new surface parking around the garage, additional new convenience such as automatic payment systems to speed out your exit, covered pedestrian walkways from the terminal to the garage and other parking areas. For those of you that don't know, Councilwoman Williams made sure that we had that in there because she hates her hair getting messed up. If you notice, she was sitting in her car as we arrived today. So we've got it taken care of. Okay, yes ma'am. <laughs> we have electrical vehicle charging stations in conjunction with our partners from Westar. Thank you, Westar and Don Sherman, wherever you are. Oh, in the back. 
As the beautiful picture on the banner suggests, this project lives up to the expectations of the people who live here in our community. It will portray Wichita's, it will portray Wichita to visitors to our city in the best possible light. The future truly is brighter for Wichita and our citizens because the project like this. I'd like to thank Victor and all of the airport staff, Dr. Tom Rosenberg and the airport board and everyone involved in making this vision that we as a community put forth be able to come true. Again, thank you. Dr. Rosenberg. Thank you so much, Mayor Brewer. Now I'd like to turn the mic over to Dr. Tom Rosenberg, who is the chairman of the Wichita Airport Advisory Board. Boy, is this the air capital of the world or what? Uh, on behalf of uh, my fellow advisory board members, uh, I'm honored to be here uh, this morning. It's hard to believe that just a few short months ago, we were here celebrating the groundbreaking of our new terminal facility, which is here behind us. We're now here to mark the progress and the changes that are taking place here at the airport. The teams who are part of this project are working almost around the clock on behalf of your city, making this a better, more accessible, a safer place to get where we need to go and to bring people here to see this wonderful community. We are pleased to be offered to, to offer this new level of convenience, efficiency, safety, and security, as well as protection from the weather with this new facility. The project will also have a number of environmentally friendly features. Those features are landscaping materials selected for their low water consumption, minimal irrigation, and where it's needed will be served by on-site water wells thus saving precious city water supplies, plumbing fixtures utilizing low water flow systems, energy efficient systems for both the heating and air conditioning systems at the rental car facility, shaded glass at the rental car facility to uh, reduce uh, heat and glare, and materials for concrete mixes will be obtained from regional sources, and electric vehicle charging stations that the mayor early, uh, mentioned earlier. Construction will be going on for about two years, the garage facility being completed just before the new terminal opening scheduled to be in the spring of 2015. And then the surface parking will be done shortly afterwards. With these changes, of course, comes with challenges. We want to assure you that we will be doing our best to keep you informed during the process and to help you plan for a successful trip. And remember, our message is simple, three things. One, two, three, plan ahead. Plan ahead by checking online for the newest developments. You can always go to flywichita.com to check your airline schedules to see if they're on time. Obviously, number two, arrive early. And number three, use the park and ride system. It's easy, it's safe, and it'll save you lots of headaches and hassles. We ask for your patience to make this all happen. We are proud to be coordinating and shepherding such a tremendous asset for our community. Thank you for coming out today and kicking off this, uh, this event in the right way. And understanding that this is not just a gateway to America, this is a gateway to the world. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rosenberg and Mayor Brewer. Now I'd like to recognize the members of the design and construction teams that are making this project a reality. Carl Walker, Inc. is the design team leader and the prime structural and parking functionality engineering firm. Schaefer Johnson Cox and Fry is the architect and landscape architect. Ruggles and Bohm is the civil and irrigation engineer. Coover Clark is the rental car functionality expert and rental car interior architect. Midwest Engineering is the mechanical and plumbing engineer. Insight Group is the electrical engineer. And Bothner and Bradley will be doing public information as the project moves forward. And 
The newest member of our team is Crossland Construction of Columbus, Kansas, which is the general contractor who will be building this great facility for us. So thanks to all the design team and contractor folks who have made today possible. And with the representatives of all of these companies I mentioned, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Turns out most of them are already standing, so there you go. So lastly, I want to reiterate the message that you just heard from Dr. Rosenberg. We want to make this construction phase as easy and as painless as possible. But there will be some inconveniences for the traveling public as we build this garage. As you can imagine, it's going to be right where we are today, right in the middle of a functioning operating parking facility. So we'll have to be moving cars around and changing entrances and exits. So there will be some short-term gain, but there will be a long-term I'm sure short-term pain, but a long-term gain when this thing is all finished and a wonderful facility like you see on the banner behind us. So over the next several weeks, you'll see us start moving in, cones, closing off parking spaces to make room for the construction of this four-story parking garage. So again, we ask that you plan ahead, arrive a little early, and please use the park and ride shuttle system as often as possible. That's very convenient. You, shuttle will pick you up in the lot and take you right to the front of the terminal and the same in reverse so you don't have to walk near as far and if you're picking up travelers at the terminal please use the courtesy cell phone lot which is just up the way on air cargo road you can park there and wait for up to an hour for, at no charge in the cell phone lot then you just wait for a call from the folks that you're going to be picking up and they say we're ready and you pull up to the front of the terminal and pick them up as Dr. Tom said, also monitor the airport's website at flywichita.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter to see how our progress is going. And we've also put several webcams on the airport's website where you can watch the construction, not only of the garage and parking facilities, but we have three cameras right now that are up showing the terminal construction. And those take a, a shot every 15 minutes, and there's an archive so we can, you can watch a, a time-lapse playback of that as well. So again, we thank you all for coming out this morning, and we wish you safe travels going home. Uh, please give your parking voucher to the attendant at the exit plaza when you leave so you don't have to pay. But if you don't have one, just tell them you were here for the groundbreaking, and, and we'll make sure that you get out for free. So now I'd like to ask the mayor, members of the Wichita City Council, members of the airport board, to grab a shovel over here where this little spot that we've dug out for the ceremonial groundbreaking and the photo opportunity. And then after that, the members of the design team and the construction team, if y'all would come over and grab shovels and we'll repeat the exercise. And after that's all over, uh, we'll be available to answer questions from the media if you want to mic us up separately. And we also have folks here from Westar who were so gracious and kind to bring out these electric vehicles. And they'll be able to discuss what we plan to do as far as putting some electric charging stations. So thanks again uh, for coming out today. Hi, <laughs>